educational policy making process from idea to implementation. Please subscribe to be the first to receive our next learning video. Explore the journey of educational policy making from identifying issues to evaluating outcomes. Learn about the key stages involved, including agenda setting, policy formulation, adoption, implementation, and evaluation. Discover how various stakeholders contribute to shaping policies that impact our education system. Education is one of the most significant components of societal growth and development. Policymakers around the world grapple with the challenge of designing educational frameworks that are not only effective but also equitable, inclusive, and adaptable to changing societal needs. The path from a simple idea on educational reform to the successful implementation of policy is intricate and multifaceted, requiring a collaborative effort from various stakeholders. This blog post aims to dissect the educational policymaking process, identify key stages, highlight challenges, and propose strategies for effective implementation. Understanding Educational Policy Before diving into the policymaking process, it's essential to clarify what we mean by educational policy. Educational policy encompasses the policies, regulations, and guidelines that govern education systems. These policies can focus on a multitude of areas, from curriculum standards and teacher qualifications to funding formulas and school governance. The ultimate goal of educational policy is to enhance educational quality and accessibility for all learners. Stages of the Educational Policymaking Process the educational policymaking process is generally divided into several stages, which include 1. Identifying the issue the first step in the policymaking process is recognizing a need for change. This may arise from various sources, including research and assessment data collected from standardized tests, assessments, and surveys can highlight gaps in educational outcomes. Public opinion and community feedback, often gathered through forums or surveys, can indicate areas of concern or demand for change. Legislative pressure laws and mandates at local, state, or federal levels can push for reforms in specific educational areas. A well-defined issue allows for targeted policymaking that addresses the root of the problem rather than its symptoms. 2. Dot research and analysis Once an issue is identified, stakeholders must conduct extensive research to understand the problem better. This includes Reviewing existing literature, scholars and policymakers should evaluate previous studies to see what approaches have been tested and their respective outcomes. Evaluating current data, analyzing current educational metrics and demographic data can provide insights into the populations affected by the proposed policies. 3. Formulating policy options Armed with knowledge gained from research, policymakers can begin to brainstorm potential solutions. Policymaking at this stage often involves a diverse group of stakeholders, including educators, administrators, parents, community leaders, and sometimes even students. It's vital that multiple perspectives are represented, ensuring that potential policies will address the needs of the affected communities. For DOT consultation and stakeholder engagement. Engagement with stakeholders is crucial at this stage. Policymakers should seek to foster a collaborative environment where those affected by policy decisions are active participants in the discussion. This engagement can include public forums and workshops, open discussions where community members can voice their opinions, surveys and polls collecting quantitative data on public opinions regarding proposed policies. Obtaining stakeholder input helps refine policy options and increases the likelihood of successful implementation by building ownership and support among the community. 5. Drafting the policy With stakeholder input, policymakers can begin drafting the actual policy. This phase usually involves Developing policy statements a clear and concise wording that outlines the objectives and specific interventions intended to address the identified issue. Establishing goals and metrics goals should be measurable and time-bound, allowing for a clear evaluation of success post-implementation. 
Drafting policies is often iterative, requiring multiple revisions based on feedback and further analysis. 6. Dot legislation and approval. Once the policy is drafted, it must pass through the appropriate legislative channels. This may involve lobbying and advocacy, engaging legislators and influential stakeholders to garner support for the proposed policy. Public hearings or formal meetings where the policy is opened for public comment before formal voting occurs. It's essential for policymakers to be prepared for opposition and ready to address concerns that may arise during this phase. 7. Dot implementation After the approval of the policy, attention shifts to implementation. This stage is critical and often determined by several factors, including Resource allocation, securing funding and resources necessary for successful implementation. This includes training teachers and staff, providing materials, and purchasing technology. Professional development, preparing educators through training and continuous support to understand and execute the new policies effectively. It is also crucial to establish a framework for monitoring and evaluation during implementation to collect data on how effectively the policy is being applied. 8. Dot evaluation and feedback loops The final stage of the policymaking process is to evaluate the results and impact of the implemented policies. Evaluation can take several forms, including Periodic assessments, the efficacy of the policy should be assessed at regular intervals to measure its impact on educational outcomes. Feedback mechanisms, establishing channels through which stakeholders can express their experiences and suggest modifications to improve the policy. The evaluation findings are invaluable for both informing future policy decisions and creating a robust feedback loop in the policymaking process. Challenges in educational policymaking Despite the structured process, various challenges can complicate educational policymaking. Political pressures Often, political agendas can cloud the objectivity of policy decisions. Lack of resources Insufficient funding can thwart the implementation of even the best laid policies. Resistance to change, educational institutions historically resist changes, often resulting in pushbacks from faculty and administration. Equity concerns, designing policies that address the diverse needs of learners can be a daunting task, particularly in areas marked by socioeconomic disparities. Conclusion, a path forward. Navigating the educational policymaking process is no small feat. It requires meticulous planning, stakeholder engagement, and a commitment to evaluation and adaptation. Policymakers must remain responsive to the ever-changing educational landscape, continually seeking innovative solutions to emerging challenges. Only by grounding policy decisions in research, understanding community needs, fostering collaboration, and evaluating outcomes can we hope to create an education system that serves the best interests of our diverse society. The road from idea to implementation is long and winding, but it is a journey worth undertaking for the future of education and society as a whole. By actively participating in this process, stakeholders can drive forward positive change, ensuring that educational policies are not only well-crafted but also effectively executed. The system that meets the evolving needs of our society.